What is up YouTube? This is Asian with Cards, and today I'm going to be profiling to my Shadal Invoked uh, Despia deck. I uh, just picked up all the Despia cards at Locals the other day, and I feel like this deck is going to be really good in the future um, with sets like Burst of Destiny. Um, you can't really play it pure, um, so I just decided to combine it with the two best fusion archetypes, which is Invoked and Shadal. Um, so yeah guys, without further ado, let's uh, profile the deck. Um, so I'm going to Locals uh, this coming Wednesday. Uh, today's I think Monday, so on Wednesday I'm going to be taking this deck to Locals. Uh, so if I do well, I'll update you guys on my list and tell you guys uh, how the deck fared against other matchups. So uh, yeah, but without enough rambling, let's get on with the deck. So um, I broke the deck up into parts. So first is the Despia part. So we have the new guy that just came out of uh, Dawn of Majesty, Albert, the Jester of Despia. Hopefully that comes up there. Uh, so pretty much uh, he's a, a Rota on Normal Summon. He searches for any, uh, I believe it's Branded. They changed it to Branded. He searches for a uh, Branded Spell or Trap. Uh, so you search for the field spell or the uh, Itali, which I'll get to um, just in a moment. Um, I play two of him because I play Alistair as well and Meltdown, so I don't want to uh, have too many um, normal sums in the deck. You technically could play three. Um, I'm going to try and pick up a third one at Locals. Um, may find room for a third, but for now, uh, the deck's very um, tight with uh, space. I'm at 41 cards right now. So, yep, and his other effect is when a, uh, he recycles himself and a future monster uh, dies. So he's pretty good in that regard. He's a dark, so uh, flows really well with the... Uh, with the um, shit all part making window and then we play one dramaturge of despia um, this card just uh, when it's used for a fusion summon from the hand field or banish from the grave it summons itself and then it can negate a uh, monster special summon from the extra deck by your opponent so and it's a big beat stick it has a uh, 3000 uh, the one downside i think of this deck um or the archetype is not they don't have any light monsters in the main deck which is kind of bad because um, you can't go into mechaba and you can't go into uh, construct and then last for the despia monsters uh, play one tragedy. Uh, this card just recycles your um, spell or traps, and um, it searches also if it's sent, so it's really good. So that's the uh, Despia package. It's just four monsters. Uh, like I said before, you can play a third uh, Albert if you wanted to. Um, and then for the spell cards for Despia, I play one of the field spell. Um, this card just lets you fusion summon a level eight, um, eight or higher fusion monster, um, and then it helps you float Albert with your fusion monsters because when you're when you're uh, your fairy monster dies, you can summon a fusion monster from your grave. Uh, so it just helps you loop Albert. Uh, I think it's just a one of because you can search it with Albert. Um, and I play terraforming, so you search it with that. So it's really cool. And then the um, the tragedy can reset this. So I think one's perfectly fine. Um, and then we play one branded opening. Uh, this card you can definitely play more of. I just had one at the moment. Um, and I didn't know what to cut. Um, this card pretty much says you can discard a card to either add a Despia monster or special summon it from the deck. So it's really good for just uh, storming the field. So that's the uh, Despia engine um, for Invoked. Uh, I'll run it through quickly. Uh, triple Alistair, uh, triple Meltdown with the Terraforming and the two Invocations. Uh, nothing to be said here. Um, it would be really cool though if the uh, Field Spell wasn't a Field Spell and it was like a normal spell. So you can like uh, abuse Meltdown with it. But uh, I guess that's fine. Um, so this is your Invoke package. Uh, nothing to say about that. And uh, then for Shadal's. Uh, we have two Wendy, uh, two Squamata, just the, the only ones I play multiples of because they pretty much are any shit all in the deck. So that's that. And then for the one ofs, we play one Beast, uh, one Dragon, just for like backer removal. Uh, we play one Falco, uh, one Hedgehog, and one Aerial, um, just standard utility monsters. Uh, I side the other Aerial just in case you go up against like Drytron or any other graveyard based decks. And then I do play one of the uh, Chaos, or Chaos, however you want to pronounce them. He's your main deck light shit all, um, because I don't play any other main deck light monsters. Um, so I feel like you just need one in deck to send. Um, they can unclog your hand too as well, so that's that. He was a 44 card, so you can definitely uh, take him out if you need to. And then for the rest of the shit all cards, uh, we just play one uh, shit all fusion and the one schism. I don't play El shit all. Um, because I play Super Poly in the main, so I don't think that you need a quick play. I'd rather have the um, uh, Super Poly be the quick play. Because all the um, the Dusty Extra Deck monsters are, they just take like light and dark monsters, so they're very generic. Really good against Drytron. Uh, really good for like Adam Dragoon. Like I said before, uh, triple Super Poly. Um, just good to out stuff. Um, you can also, it's really easy really to out against like back row matchups, because you can just like take it out. Um, for like more hand traps and stuff like that if the matchup isn't uh, there and then for generic cards uh, we play triple ash blossom 
uh, triple um, ghost bell. This could definitely be like an Ash, or not an Ash, uh, Veiler or Nibiru if you want to have more light targets in the deck. Um, one call by and triple imperm. So this card is pretty generic. You can, uh, doesn't really count as a hand trap, but it's generic. Um, and then we play uh, eight hand traps in the main. Uh, we play more on the side, so I think that's just enough for what you need to do. Um, and then for the uh, extra deck. Uh, for Shadals, we play two Construct. Uh, don't mind the non ulti. Um, two Constructs, I think, fine in this deck. Uh, two Winda. I've seen a lot of Bliss play just one Winda, but um, I feel like a second Winda is really good against the combo decks, who just like lose to Winda. Uh, one App Cologne, just because it's a utility. So that's it for the Shadals. I don't think you need any more. I was thinking of playing Shaq, because you can like Super Poly against the uh, Tri Monsters, the Tri Brigade deck, but I was like, uh, not enough space. Uh, two Mechaba for the Invoked. Uh, one Purgatrio. Um, I don't play um, Almirage because the space is so tight. Um, but you do play Ash and your opponent plays Ash, so that's good. Uh, one Algoides uh, just to abuse with Meltdown. Hopefully the music in the background is not too loud. I just had some like random music playing in my uh, on YouTube. Uh, the one Raijin. Uh, the one Kaliga. All just standard Invoke monsters. Um, you could change Ragin out for the Elysium, but um, I just wanted Ragin for Tribe Brigade. And then for Despia, we just play one of each guy, of the guys. Um, this one just takes a light. Um, I think it's a light or dark. Uh, yeah, light or dark. And this one takes a light and a dark. Um, so this one during the main phase, quick effect. Um, all non-fusion monsters go to zero attack. Um, and when it leaves the field, uh, you can summon a Despia from your deck. Um, and this one just steals an extra deck monster when it dies, so it's pretty good. Um, and this one also inflicts damage when it destroys a monster by battle. Um, you can inflict damage on your opponent's life points equal to the, uh, the, mo uh, the monster's attack or defense, which is higher, so it's good in time. And then the only Link monsters I could play is, uh, one Artemis, um, and one Gravity Controller. You really have no room for, like, anything else, unless you guys have any suggestions of what I could take out. Um, but yeah, couldn't really fit anything. And then for the side deck, I'll show you guys what I what I play if I was going to locals. Uh, one Pank, uh, one Cycle Reader, and third air or the second aerial. These cards are like pretty much for the same for Drytron. Uh, two Lancia. There's a lot of uh, virtual world in my area, so I like to have Lancias. Uh, triple Nib for combo, and triple Droll for Drytron or like Mirror Match. It's good against like the Invoke deck, just stopping them from searching. And for back row. Uh, one Duster and uh, Triple Twin. Um, I'd rather have Twin instead of Cosmic, uh, just because I'd rather hit two cards instead. Because um, I really just gonna put this in against Backward X, so you just want to hit the one instead. Um, and your worst matchup can be Striker, so you want to have Backward against that deck. So yeah, guys, that's my uh, Duster deck. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Um, I know this deck just came out, but I wanted to build it for you guys and show you guys uh, what I would play. So let me know if you guys have any questions or stuff you would change, and let me know if you guys have any ideas. Thanks.